girl. We're almost there. Okay. We're approaching the castle of King Ridgeboy. Hmm? Do I know him personally? Hmm. Well, he did see me a few times when I was just a little girl. Father... My late father always invited him and the neighboring queen over for soirees and diplomatic meetings as well. Huh? Oh, yes. King Ridgeboy's wife, Suella, she died of sickness a long time ago. She was a diligent and remarkable woman. She cared for the people of Vastaria. And nothing was quite the same when she passed. You wonder if you might recognize me? <laughs> Honey, don't hold your breath. And I'm not counting on it either. It has been years since I was that little girl with the pigtails and the floofy dress and <laughs> those shimmering eyes. <laughs> hmm? Oh, I still have the eyes? <laughs> Flatterer. But that's besides the point. He... He's probably much older and... And... Well, I'm kind of concerned when he meets us. Hmm? Why am I concerned? Well, as I mentioned about Queen Suella's loss, um, my father and King Ridgevor slowly drifted apart as friends and allies. Um, Ridge became more cold, stern, more punishments, less, less compassionate for the people, and my father wouldn't have it anymore. And I didn't really see him again for a very long time. So this is kind of a bittersweet uh, visit. And I'm definitely not excited. Hmm? <laughs> well, thank you. I don't feel brave, but I mean, we have to try. My brother, he's up to no good. And this kingdom could fall into ruin if we're not fast enough. Halt! You approach the castle of King Ridgeboy. State your business. <coughs> Good day, sire. I have an urgent message for the king's librarian. If possible, I request an audience with the king. It is of utmost importance. <laughs> oh, really? How important is this so-called meeting? <laughs> okay. I have a message that can prevent this kingdom from a doomsday in fire and blood. If you are certain that I don't have anything vital to alert his majesty, then me and my companion can leave this kingdom to fall. Uh, wait, wait, wait. My fellow knight <laughs> plays around too much. We, we just don't see kids come into the castle. Well, I am not a child, and neither is my companion. I'm a grown woman, and my companion will be treated with the utmost respect. Am I clear with you both? Yes, yes ma'am. Ma Good. Now, can one of you please be useful and help take care of our horse? And you, announce us. Uh, what do we call you, your ladyship? Oh, um, Mistress Jade of Camdemore and my traveling companion. Your Excellency, you have two guests requesting your attention and counsel, Mistress Jade of Camdemore and her traveling companion. Ugh, what is it, fool? Can't you just tell them I'm not in the mood for an audience today? But, but sir, it involves the safety and potential destruction of your kingdom. Mm. Well, it's coming. Very well. Don't just stand there. Bring whoever is there, you drooling oak. Right away, sir. Wow. Don't be 
story of these two extent and not hold back. Can't imagine what else he's capable of. That's close enough. Uh, okay. <clears throat> uh, greetings, Your Excellency. My name is... Uh, I know already. Just speak. My lord, Camdemo has fallen. The crown prince, Gregory, has shown himself a traitor to the ways of the monarchy and the ways of law. He has slain his own house just so he could rule. I am only a messenger, my lord. Trust my words, for they are true. Hmm. I see. But, here is my question for you. How did you find your way to my doorstep? Unscathed. Hard to picture. Well, Your Excellency, it was not without challenge and not without willpower. But, when we did arrive in your kingdom, we received the aid of your local healer, Mother... Ah, so I'll stop you right there. Mother Thuv Lily, that witch. Why should I care what that witch says anyway? Why are you really here? Because she led us to your librarian, your majesty. W what? Why does Scholar Bird have anything to do with this? Guard... Yes, my lord. Please send Acolyte Bird up to the throne room, please. Immediately. Uh, yes, your majesty. Did you need me for something? I... I just came back from the library. I, who, who are they? I don't care. I have a message for you. Just take them to the castle library and settle this. I'm bored of them. By your request, your highness. You too. Come. Oh, sir, thank you so much. I was beginning to think we wouldn't be hurt at all. Well, don't think me too fast. I just need to understand how do you two know me? Better yet, requested me for help. Well, we tried to explain that Mother Thuvily sent us a message for you. What? Here it is. Hmm. What are you planning, Mother? What? Thuvily is your mom? <sighs> yes. Yes, she is. But as I said, we're heading downstairs into the castle study. Come along now. It's not that far away. Enter, enter. Sorry for the rickety stairs. Low maintenance down here, but it is my domain as long as His Majesty needs me. So, come sit by the fire. It's cozy and warm, so you two won't get cold. But... Now, please explain to me how you met my mother. Well, it's a long story, Scholar Bird. <laughs> Child, I have time. You two look hungry. I don't have a lot. Most of the fancy meats and breads are for the king and, well, for the king. I have a little loaf and some butter and some water. Not much. Uh, I'm sorry. No, 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 no. No worries. We're both very thankful. <sighs> Luckily, this bread is still healthy. Mm. Thank you so much, Scholar Bird. Uh, it's nothing. It's really nothing. I don't have a uh, company. Something that my mother and I have in common. Oh, yes. My first question. How did you come in contact with her? All right. I'll tell you. 
but you have to swear to help us. Deal? Deal, kid.